welcome to this vlog. I am in New York City. I'm here for three days to see my friend Brielle. And I are gonna root around for a couple days. But I'm also here for my college roommate Sasha's baby shower. Just so crazy to say out loud. I took a red eye last night and I'm doing surprisingly okay. I feel like I slept a little bit on the plane. As you can see, it's a very gray, like rainy day here. So I'm headed to the hotel to meet my friend Brielle. I'm gonna shower and then I hope her and I are gonna be able to go get coffee and start walking around. I'm really glad I brought like a bit of a rain layer because it is definitely sprinkling, but yeah, New York City vlog. version of Central Park. I yes, think. we Maybe. think. Well, we've had quite the morning. I showered at the hotel, which felt so nice to like scrub off the airplane off me. And we went to Ralph's for coffee, which was at the top of my list. And then we went to Levain's for a cookie. And then I didn't show this at all, but for breakfast, we went to Dudley's, which I think is in the Lower East Side. I had a very good breakfast. And now we're getting our steps in. dog is she? Oh my god, you're kidding. She looks like a tea tub. Okay, it's later. Brielle and I are at Washington Square Park. The arch, the famous, I don't know if you can see that. This is one of my favorite parks because of When Harry Met Sally, the movie. I just absolutely housed an acai bowl that was so good from Pressed. And before that, we went to went to Levain's Bakery this morning, but we also made it to Funny Face Bakery, and they put my cookie in this cute little box. I got, they were sold out of a lot of the cookies, but I got one of the decorated, yes, chef. I have to send this to my friend Lucy. She loves the bear. She's the one that got me into the bear. Anyway, I think from here, we're gonna walk through the West Village and we're gonna go to a stationery store and we're also gonna go to the Set Active store. That and Aloe are two like activewear stores that like there's no physical locations to them. So while we're here, that's where we're gonna go. admiring the beauty that is Greenwich Village. Am I saying that right? We found ourselves on Waverly Place Street and it's got all these beautiful trees and all these brick buildings and we want to live in all of them. Ah. So it's 5.45. We both just took a good long hour nap. It was so good. I feel so lazy now and I don't want to get out of bed, but I do feel rejuvenated. The hotel Brielle and I are staying at, we're in the Flatiron District, like kind of close to Chelsea. I think it's called Motto by Hilton in Chelsea. I'll put the name of the hotel at the bottom in case you want to stay here. I need to show a video of this room because we actually got upgraded from the room that Brielle was in this morning. It had like two sets of bunk beds. It actually had four like twin beds versus this room has two queen bed. So I'm going to insert a picture of where we're staying right now. So beautiful. But our plan for tonight, Brielle is currently taking a shower. 
is get up, get dressed. We're gonna have a cocktail in the bar of the hotel downstairs. And then we're gonna go to Catch for dinner. This is a place all the influencers I watch, they always go to Catch when they're in New York. It's like a sushi seafood place. And I think the location we're going to is one near Tribeca. So it's like near the river side or like the water side. Maybe we'll just walk if it's not rainy, but yeah, it's been such a good day so far. I think we might get into that cookie I got from Funny Face, the Yes Chef. I hope that's good. I need to put a total step count at the bottom of the screen towards the end of the night. Brielle has been tracking us. And the last time I checked, we were at 18,000. So we're moving and grooving today. I'm so hungry. I'm really excited to go to catch. But yeah, that's been our first day. It's been so fun. We have all day tomorrow. And then the day after that is my friend's baby shower, which is in New Jersey. So I actually am going to break into this now because I'm starving. But I realized how much makeup is under my eyes. Whoopsies. That didn't really fix it. And on the back, it has Funny Face Bakery FFB with a butterfly put on it. Let's see how it tastes. the new Summer Fridays lip balm that I got. It smells so good. Have I made you smell? Oh, I love Isn't that. that so good? I don't know if it actually tints anything crazy. Do you notice a difference? I probably always put on too much. Actually, no, yeah, I do. It's a little like brown. <laughs> it's around the edges of my lips. Anyway, outfit for tonight's dinner is the Skims top. I was just showing Brielle. Um, I'll link it in the description. And these are my pants that I call my party pants from Urban Outfitter. So I'll show a better video in a second. You want to be in Outfit here? of the night. Where's everything from? Um, this is a Reformation top, which we love. <laughs> Amazing. The skirt is from Old Navy, but it has pockets. And these are stone boots because Pacific Northwest forever. Yes, love. And these are the said party pants that are looking a little small on me today, but that's okay. I will continue to wear them into the ground. Laying on the horn. Just Hi. getting drenched in the rain. City girls. like 9 45 in the morning i think i slept almost 12 hours because i remember turning off my phone last night at like 10 15 and i woke up today around like 9 25 so pretty good it was a much needed catch up now i'm just gonna try to go for a run to central park we're like two miles away from the bottom of it brielle and i are staying in the Flatiron district so i think i'm gonna run two miles up enter the park see if i could do like a mile loop and just see what I can see and then come back. Brielle's and I's plans for the day are, I think we're gonna go to Blank Street Coffee. That's one of the coffee shops on our list. We're gonna walk over to the High Line, which is like this walking, like outdoor park kind of. All I know is Taylor Swift talks about it in one of her songs. And then we're gonna go to Pop Up Bagels. And then I think the rest of the list for the day is we wanna hit up Strand Bookstore and we wanna see Central Park. We get to Central Park. Honestly, riding alongside all those cars really sucks. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, Brielle and I have been talking a lot about if we'd move to New York and what it would be like if we did, where we'd want to live, like which neighborhood. It's super common, Sam and I have learned that living in San Francisco, a lot of people will make the move from San Francisco to New York. It just like makes sense. And it's like a really easy adjustment because they're both big cities, both really walkable, both have good parks. Like 
lots of diversity. I don't know. I think being here as a visitor is so different than if you lived here. Because I'm sure I could live here. But I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes definitely Manhattan is very overwhelming and there's so many people. I would want to live in a place closer to like a park with more space. I feel like Brooklyn and Williamsburg are popular for that reason. But anyway, it's so fun to be here. So happy to be with Brielle. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the vlog that her and I met over Bumble. And I'm like, it's crazy how like friendships develop. I feel like going on a trip with any friend just takes you to like a very different level of friendship where it's just like, oh, I could go anywhere with you. You've seen me lose my mind in the middle of Manhattan. <laughs> Not actually, but. I feel like it's the sky is so gray it's hard to tell but look at these i think these are magnolia trees like wanting to turn pink and we're just like a week or so early but look how bright isn't that lovely okay blank street coffee review first sip is an 8.5 out of 10. very good very sweet and I initially thought that their prices were like lower. Like I think they're known for being like $5 a latte. This one was still seven. I don't know how much yours was. by Central Park and there was a Skims pop-up. So I got like a bodysuit, a t-shirt, I got like a sweatshirt and some um, sweatshirt shorts to try on. And yeah, we've had a really good morning so far. We went to Lang Street Coffee, went, went, went to pop-up bagels, started to pour rain. <laughs> so we both got really wet. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna try this stuff on. I'm so happy we are here at the time that there's a Skims pop-up store because I love like the underwear I've gotten from them and the long sleeve shirt I got from them a couple weeks ago. So it's so nice to be able to like try stuff on. This is the first thing I got. It's like a fitted white shirt. You can see my bra under it. I'm wearing like a tank top impressive bra. So I would definitely not wear this bra. I worry it'd be too see-through, but I love, I just love the way the tops look. I feel like they're so um, flattering on. So I'm tempted to get this. I feel like I've been going through my closet, like getting rid of all the excess stuff and replacing it with just like good basics. And I feel like this is so versatile. Like you could wear this with a skirt, you can wear it with pants, um, super flattering. I'm tempted to get this bra because I love like a cotton Calvin Klein bra like this. This is an extra, extra small. <laughs> and for reference, I'm a 32B. So it definitely like is tight around the rib cage, but I feel like I can, loosen it um, on the straps and it hooks in the back. I just tried this on with that shirt and you can see right through it. So I don't know if I'm gonna get the shirt just because it is so see-through. I don't know what bra I would wear under it, but I really like the way the shirt looks. That I got in a size small. And for reference, for anyone that is kind of shaped like me, I guess, I'm a small in the top. I feel like I'm pretty like small chested. And then I'm always like a medium in the bottoms because this is that bra I got and I think I think I'm gonna take it. Okay, definitely getting this long like hoodie. It feels so soft and so good. I'm gonna try it on with the matching sweatpant shorts, but this 10 out of 10. This is a size medium, so I like that it's a little like oversized and I could like roll up the sleeves. So don't feel as crazy about the shorts. They like don't fit right. They're kind of like cheeky and maybe they're supposed to be pajamas, but I think I'm just gonna get the um the bra and the uh sweatshirt because this is so cozy <laughs> for the 
midnight. I think it is close to 10 o'clock, if not 10.30. Feel as if I've done a worse job today narrating and stringing along the story of what we did today. Last thing I think I recorded was when we went to lunch at this really good like Australian cafe. I'm gonna put the names of all the places we went to eat at the bottom of the screen so you'll see that if you wanna try these places. After that, we unexpectedly found ourselves in the uh, Natural History Museum, which was so exciting. We were there from 4.30 to 5.30 and found out that the last hour there is free. So if you ever wanna go to the Natural History Museum for free, go from four, four to five maybe, 4.30 to 5.30. And then we took the subway to Union Square and we went to Strand Bookstore, which is my favorite bookstore in New York City. The slogan is that if they like laid out all the books they have, it would be 18 miles, like a three-story bookstore. It's immaculate vibes in there. For the baby shower tomorrow, I got my friend the Rainbow Fish book because that was like a classic for me growing up. So I'm excited to get that to her. We just kind of laced in the hotel for a few hours. We ate in the restaurant downstairs, which is that last clip that I just showed. Tomorrow's our last full day. The plan is to wake up, get coffee. We're gonna go try, stand in line to get tickets to a Maggie Rogers show that's happening tomorrow night in New York City. It's very last minute and she like just announced this, so updates to come on that. And then I think around 11.30, we're gonna take the train from Penn Station and then we'll go north from there to get to the baby shower. So hopefully I'll show a little for that and yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. It is like 1 p.m. and Brielle and I made it to New Jersey. We took the train from Penn Station in New York City to Park Ridge, New Jersey. That's where Sasha is having her baby shower. And we're just gonna walk. It's like 10 minutes from the train station to where the party is. I'm Giddy. I saw Sasha last time in August of 2023 for my birthday when we went to Cape Cod. And since then, she has become pregnant and is with child. I can't believe it. We have her bag of like presents right here. It's a 10 minute walk. So hopefully I film at the baby shower, but probably won't talk much. <laughs> Wait, Nick, a little lower. There you go. <laughs> p.m. I'm back home in the SF apartment. I just did a little reset today. I got back at like 9 a.m. Pacific time, but it was actually noon New York time. So I had many hours to lay in bed, took a shower, 
vacuumed all the rooms, cleared off the counters. Now I'm about to make dinner, but I thought I would end off this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I had the best time in New York with my friend Brielle. There's something so good about going on a girl's trip, like that phrase, like when the trip makes it out of the group chat. And we just had the best time. I feel like her and I did all the things we wanted to do and just enjoy moving around the city in a similar way. Like all I wanted was to get coffee, walk, go to a bookstore, walk, go to a park, keep walking. That was the majority of how we spent our time and we just had such a good conversation. And I'm emotional today, just feeling so grateful for all these great friendships in my life. So I'm gonna continue to contemplate moving there every few years on a cyclical pattern. And I think the last thing I had shown before today was being at my friend Sasha's baby shower, which if you couldn't tell from the video of me greeting her, and gesturing to her son. I'm just still awestruck at the fact that she's having a baby. And I didn't realize that her due date is literally a month from when the baby shower was. It's like so crazy to watch some of your closest friends do such big life events, like get married, have children, become wives, become mothers, become husbands. It's really got me thinking. So happy to be able to go and see her only for just like four hours, but Brielle and I had such a good time together. It was so extravagant which is my friend Sasha to a T, like the balloon arch, all the cookies, the incredible cake she had. I think there were like almost 70 people there, which is astounding. Anyway, it was such a good trip and I'm so glad I went. The last thing, if you've made it this far in the vlog, then you'll get to hear the actual rankings. All of the coffee places and cookie places Brielle and I wanted to try, I wanted to give my opinion on which ones I would recommend. I was really excited for Ralph's coffee. That was that green and white striped coffee place we went to the first day. I would give that coffee like a seven out of 10. I am a consistent iced oat milk vanilla latte orderer. And I would say that one was really creamy. You could like hardly taste the coffee. It was good. And the aesthetics in the store were like so fun. I feel like the experience is kind of what you pay for, but that coffee was like a seven out of 10. Next was Blank Street Coffee, loved. That one was like a nine or 10 out of 10 for me. I was like, dang, I would go back to Blank Street just to get that coffee. And then these other good brunch places we went to were Dudley's and Ruby's Cafe. It turns out that they were like related or twins or owned by the same people. Highly recommend both of those. I think they're Australian based restaurants and they just had really good brunch food. Last but not least, all the cookies we tried. I didn't show this in the vlog, I don't think, but the first bakery we went to was Levain's Bakery. That cookie was like 10 out of 10. Brielle was really set on getting this like chocolate and white like mixed cookie that was so good. We ate that while we were in Brooklyn. Another place we tried was Funny Face Bakery. That was the Yes Chef cookie I got. That one was like a five out of 10. It was very dry. I love a sugar cookie and I like them to be soft. And I kind of expected it to be like crunchy, like crack in your mouth. Wouldn't really recommend. It's more, again, for the experience or the like aesthetic of all the cookie decorations. Honestly, the cookies at Sasha's baby shower were way better. The ones of like all the beach themed sugar cookies. Wherever Sasha got those, I was like, those were a 10 out of 10 sugar cookie. I think she probably got them from like a local bakery, but that's besides the point. We also went to Chip City Bakery, which was like an all cookie. It kind of reminded me of Crumble, like the way it looked. A six or seven out of 10. They really weren't anything phenomenal. And I would say if you're near Levain's, go to Levain's. So anyway, those are all my opinions that no one asked for. Hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in my next one. Bye.